best game so far? Um, I'll say the Redskins. Um, I'd say it's a tie between the Redskins and the St. Louis game. Um, being able to have two sacks in the Redskins game and going against a great guy that Donald Duke can have in his team. Getting after him uh, and really winning that game is huge. Um, and, and something I have a lot of enjoyment doing. Um, and then as well as the St. Louis game, being able to blow them out of the waters and, and tackle Steven Jackson, the guy here. Um, he's a tough runner. And uh, I was just giving him crap about it earlier. He, uh, got an interception against Bradford and I was trying to take it back to the house. Uh, yeah, I thought he was going to go high with me and he went low on I wasn't even close to But uh, it's, it's all fun and games and uh, he said he was definitely not going to go high with me. So uh, I definitely was saying I wouldn't go high with him either. Have you seen as many double teams as you expected in the NFL? Um, I, I, I think I've got my, uh, gotten my fair share of it yeah. um, without a doubt. Um, and that's something that, that I, I don't have a problem doing it by any means. If I can free up my other commands and allow them to make plays, that's something I'm willing to do. And, uh, and uh, I've been able to beat double teams in certain situations. And you, there's a lot of ways you, you can counter-react that. And uh, being able to have a great line that at any point in time, you're going to have to double one of us inside. The other guy needs to go make a play. And that's what we've been able to do all season. Uh, it seems like, I mean, the record doesn't indicate the level of play. You've lost some really weird games. Mm -hmm. um, we talk about that experience just keeping your heads up and how Coach Schwartz helps with that, how the veterans like Kyle, even on the sidelines was coaching, mm -hmm. um, what, what that experience has been like. Yeah, we've definitely had some, some tough losses and, and, and wacky losses at that, um, but it's, it's experiences. And I'd rather go through them now and, um, and, and really understand and uh, be able to bounce back from them because we have another, uh, hopefully another great season of being able to be all together and add some of the great pieces to the, to the puzzle and, uh, and not be able to have to go through those losses uh, again because we've learned from them already. Because you can't take them back, you can only learn from them and not allow them to happen again. So that's what we, we see and we know we have a lot of great talents. It's just a matter of finishing it and uh, finishing the games like we did this last game against Green Bay. Green Bay. Now I've seen you uh, just already line up at a 1-3-5. They'll flex the tackle and you'll go inside and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. How important has it been for you to be in that kind of multiple multiple fronts where you can be as creative as your talent allows you to be? It, it, it's great that our coaches trust us enough as, as a defensive line to move around, have a bunch of different packages where we're pretty much interchangeable in all our positions. And really, there's there's sometimes we're all, we're standing up like like linebackers. So being able to have that trust from our coaches and and, and have that leeway it allows teams to always be guessing what we're going to do, uh, which gives us that advantage of the element of what's coming and, uh, and being able to have that on our side instead of being in, one, in a one and a three and then a five and a seven and, and being able to be really telegraphic. So it's great to be in that situation and have that trust from our coaches and we can continue to feed off that and make plays. Then if you touch me on the head, would the NFL find you $15,000? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> that, that, that you have to ask them that question. Uh, but I don't know. Just can you, I'm just going to continue to play. I know you're referring to the Jay Cutler hit and so forth. But it's all it's, it's all something that uh, we have to get used to and something that we have to grow from and understand what we did and continue to play hard as, as I'm going to continue to do for my teammates, fans, and, and my coaches. Do you think that the, the play in the preseason where you tackle – I used tackle loosely, but I take the loan. Do you think that that led the NFL to maybe keep a closer eye on you? Did you, did you, or, do you or do you just think that maybe it's your style of play? Uh, to be honest with you, I have no clue. Uh, I'm a very fast, um, agile, three hundred five pound man. Dude. Yeah. So with that, me being able to be blessed and be able to move fast around like that, big collisions are going to happen. Big, big collisions are going to happen, and, and they're going to look bad, and they may not look as bad as they may be. But, I mean, you just got to roll with the punches and, and understand uh, the name of the game. And uh, they're trying to protect us all. So I'm not going to fault them at all for, for Aaron on the side of caution. Just got to uh, bounce back and, and get ready for the next play. Guys, we only have a couple more minutes here, so I just want to make sure everyone gets a question. So a couple more here, and then i got to get you guys in as well. Thanks, Tim. Okay. Um, Best individual matchup as far as someone to really impress you as far as their overall game that you were like, like I'm in the against. NFL now. Uh -huh. uh, I would say the guy that uh, that I've obviously respect the most or that I've gone against on the offensive line is uh, probably Josh Sinton, uh, the Green Bay uh, his right guard. He's uh, one that uh, is very patient and, and understands the type of moves that, that, that you may want to do against him. Uh, but 
I found ways to beat him as well. He's find ways to catch me in my rushes and so forth to stop me. So, but he's one of those guys that I definitely respect, and, uh, and, he, and he understands the game. And he's a he's a young guy at that. I think he's only on his fourth or fifth year right now in the NFL. So I'm excited to go against him uh, and looking forward to going against him next year and the years to come. Talk about um, the impact that your DBs are having, like Alfonso Smith and Chris Houston. Like, cause you guys play a lot of man. Just mm -hmm. talk about how they're helping you guys, like get pressure on the quarterback with their good coverage. Yeah, definitely helping us out with the good coverage. And uh, Alfonso's actually out now. Chris Houston has continued to be uh, very, uh, very consistent in his play, um, as well as uh, uh, Vasher kind of stepping in in Alfonso's uh, vacancy and so forth. So being able to have those guys as well as McDonald, those guys are definitely helping us uh, give us a little bit more time and take around, take away those first options of the quarterback. To, to allow us to get to those quarterbacks because a lot, a lot of quarterbacks want to do a lot of quick passing and get the ball out of his hand so we can't get back there and they're allowing us to help us get back there now. That's the last question. Defensive line because you know it changes so much where you think you have a package like a bull rush and a rip and then you get to college and it progresses and then you get to the NFL and it progresses. What does Adamican Seuss say to a guy that's 17, 18 that knows he wants to put his hand in the ground um, and, and go to college? Definitely create a move and, and something that you truly believe that you can be the guy with, but with every move, there's a counter off of that move, and uh, you got to learn that counter. And, and uh, for me, right now, I'm in the NFL, and I don't have a, a signature move. And, uh, and one of the reasons why uh, I haven't had a signature move is because I wanted to be a guy that's being able to be versatile, be able to use a, a lot of variety of moves and a lot of different moves that, uh, that always keeps the offensive lineman uh, off balance, and that works for me. It may not work for everybody else, but it works for me. But you got to find what your niche is and, and stick with it and continue to work. Thanks, guys.